What is good everybody? Welcome back to another My Damn Toys video. Today we are going to be going through my favorite WWE figure belts. I believe I have like almost 10 of them. Uh, it's not a top 10 or anything. None of these are in any particular order. I'm just going to go through them and show you guys the my favorite belts from WWE figures and you know talk about why I like them and stuff like that. But um, I believe there's around 10 of them, maybe more, maybe less. But I guess we can go ahead and get straight into it. All right, guys, starting out first, we have the United States Championship. And right here, we have three different versions. This one is more of like a dull gold version. Um, I believe this came with the Elite 30 or Elite 23 Cesaro. I believe it was. It may have been Elite 11 Miz or Elite, uh, maybe Elite 11 Miz. But um, yeah, this version is more of a shiny gold version. You see, like the gold is more of, you know, it shines more than this. This is more of like a uh, dull paint job. And I like both. And then, of course, you have the updated current um, U.S. Championship, and that, you know, that belt pretty much comes with, like, every figure that's released nowadays, it seems like. But, um, yeah, I do enjoy the United States Championship in uh, WWE figure form in real life, even. I would love to have a replica of this belt. I think that it looks fantastic. The uh, That's probably why they've kept the design so long, is just because this is so classic and iconic. It just looks so great. And it's probably one of the best title designs in WWE history. The next championship we have up is the Cruiserweight Championship, and this is the current day uh, WWE Cruiserweight Championship. Of course, this came with the t uh, Network Spotlight TJP figure, and I think they did a fantastic job on this belt. Mattel did a very terrific job. Uh, the purple stands out, stands out very nice. I think it's very accurate to the actual color of the belt. The, uh, the plates look amazing. The silver, you know, matching with the purple just clashes really well. Like, look at that shimmer. It looks amazing in the light. Um, the only inaccuracy now is that, you know, this is the uh, this was the first version, and the current version has a red um, line instead of the purple. But overall, they destroyed the uh, production of this title belt, and I um, cannot wait to get more. Uh, it is going to be released with Elite 55 Neville, so I am looking forward to that. But um, I'm not sure if that has the red line under it or not, but regardless, I will be happy to pick up that belt. Up next, we have the Big Gold World Heavyweight Championship, and I absolutely love the design of this championship. One of my favorite belts of all time, and Mattel, I think they do a pretty solid job of this belt in figure form. I wish that the plates were thinner. Um, I wish that it would just be a little bit thinner, and, you know, the plate wouldn't be so big. If they would shrink this down or actually make the black part bigger... Um, I think this belt would look a lot better. I know that uh, Jax did a really good job of making this championship belt, and you can actually switch the plates with Jax, and it'll look a lot better. But I am overall happy with this belt. Um, I wish they would have painted, you know, the little red diamonds over here, the rubies or whatever it is. But um, overall, very happy with this championship. The details are incredible on this belt. So, yeah, this is also one of my favorites. Up next, we have the WWE Championship Spinner version, and I've always loved this title design. I know it gets a lot of hate. People are like, eh, it spins and all that bull crap. Uh, I actually have this title. In real life, I have an adult replica spinner belt, and I think it's absolutely gorgeous in person. I think the entire belt is nice, and I did add these paint details to the belt so it's more accurate, but I think that Mattel did a fantastic job on this belt. And I have three different versions here. Here is the uh, Rated R Championship uh, obviously, when Edge won the title from John Cena, he switched out the center plate. And this is the only one that they've ever made that actually spins in the middle. So that's really awesome. And we are getting that belt pack, that ringside exclusive belt pack, which I'm so excited for. I have two on the way, which we will be doing a review of. Cannot wait to get that up to you guys. But, um, yeah, very happy with those two. And then the third one is sort of cheating. But, um, yeah, this is one of my favorite WWE figure belts that uh, I have in my collection. Probably my favorite of all time. Just uh, the MDT Championship right here. Obviously, this is using the pick fed. The current day champion is Edge, and he looks amazing. Only MDT champion so far in our history, but, you know, you have the zebra print on the strap, a world logo over here, MDT Live logo over here, and I just love the design of this championship. The MDT in the middle with the pink and yellow. Everything about this belt looks incredible, and I'm so happy uh, with the production of this belt. Showstopper Custom Figs did make this belt, and he absolutely brought my vision to life so I'm just so happy to have this belt and it is definitely one of my favorites. Up next we have the US Spinner Championship and it is the only Jax figure belt on this countdown but I think it is deserving. This one is a lot better than the Mattel uh, US Spinner belt and it is amazing. I think the, the, the size is way better. It's way more in scale. Um, I sold all of my U.S. Spinner belts from Mattel. I had like five of them. I sold all of them because I could not stand it. It's just way too small. It's not accurate. It's just blah. 
Um, this one actually has the details. I don't know if you could see it, but there are st uh, stripes and stitching uh, sculpted into the strap, and the strap is actually the accurate shape. Um, this middle plate does have the word Life John Cena on there. It does spin, so that is amazing as well. And I did add all this paint detail to the flag and the stars, so that's why it's even more accurate. But I am over happy overall happy with this belt, and I think that Jax did a fantastic job on it. Up next, we have three different tag team belts designs, and I guess I'll start with this one up front. We have the SmackDown Tag Team Championship from the Ruthless Aggression Era, and I think that this belt is fantastic. I always loved uh, both of these, the Raw and SmackDown versions, just because the, the you know they had the colors to the specific brands in the titles. And I'm so happy that we are getting that belt pack. These two championships are included in that new ringside exclusive belt pack again. Um, and I did order two of them, so I'll have a set of each. I already have a set of this title, but I am missing the other one to this one. But that, you know, it's whatever. Now I will have a complete set, and I'm very happy that they are releasing this title. I was always a fan of both of these. Um, here's the Raw version, and again, I just thought that all of these were so fantastic. And I think that Mattel did a good job. I wish that they were a little bit bigger. Um, I feel like in real life that um, they were a tad bigger than this. But, you know, it's not a big deal. It is what it is. Uh, I am happy with them overall, though. The red in there for the Raw one and the blue in there for the SmackDown. But on this one right here, this is the MDT World Tag Team Championship. One half of it, and I love this belt so much. You got the pink strap, uh, MDT logo in the middle with the world behind it. Uh, the silver and gold dual plating colors on there with the MDT Live logos and World logos on the side plates. And it's just so beautiful. One of my favorite belts definitely in my collection. Had to throw it in here even though it is a custom belt. It's so clean and again it was made by Showstopper Custom Figs. And this belt is just so clean and beautiful. I'm so happy with it. And the current day champion for this belt is the Shield. Up next, we do have the Oval Intercontinental Championship from the Attitude Era going on into the Ruthless Aggression Era. And this title was always one of my favorites. Every time I look at this belt, I instantly imagine Chris Jericho. And I love the details on this belt, the World Wrestling Entertainment across the top there, Intercontinental Champion weaving across. I was always such a fan of this belt. I don't know why. I feel like Mattel may have made it a tad too big, in my opinion. But I think overall, this belt is amazing. Just everything about it, the colors pop up it nicely all the side plates are beautiful and this was always one of my favorite title designs i wish that you know they brought back the white strap intercontinental championship i wish they would freaking bring back this title um this title with the new logo i think would be incredible i think that would look amazing um maybe i can freaking like edit up a picture of what that would look like but yeah one of my favorite championships that mattel has made in figure form and last but not least we have the hardcore championship that came with the ringside exclusive Kane, and I love the way this title came out. I think that Mattel did a very good job on this. Definitely one of my favorite WWE figure championship belts, but I wish they would have added some uh, paint detail to the strap like I've added here. You see with the uh, reddish brown and blue. Um, I looked at some reference pictures and just sort of winged it, but I think it came out pretty good. Um, you could even take some bright dry brush or something like that and go over these uh, plates to give it that, you know, burnt look. Because that's, you know, the hardcore title looked very rough back in the day. So, um, yeah, I am happy with this belt, though. I think that they did a great job. It's definitely one of my favorites they've made. And again, this is included in that uh, ringside exclusive five belt pack. Um, very happy that we will be getting more of these, so that's very good. You know, this thing used to go for $25 to $30 just for the belt itself, so that's really great. That's more than a lot of figures go for, so that's insane, but now we don't have to worry about that with that belt pack. But that's going to do it for this guy, uh, this video, guys. Thank you so much for watching. Subscribe for more epic WWE and WWE figure-related videos. Leave a like. Comment down below what your favorite WWE figure belts are. Maybe they're in this video, maybe not. But that's going to do it, guys. Thank you so much.